account to my dad doing stuff. Gauges? Where the field gauges at? Should be right down ahead of them. You check up there? We're looking for a few gauges. How about I spin it while you uh, check the spark? Was this open or? That's just for lights. That doesn't matter. This isn't ignition though. No, this is the this is the stopper. All it does is it just grounds. It just yeah, grounds so that's what that I was cold. looking for to see if it was grounding right. So. Yeah, so okay. it just creates a ground. Yeah, it grounds it out. So if that fails, you're stuck on, not stuck off. Eleven kilo ohms. Oh yeah, it is shot. Cause it should be like three ohms, I think. Okay. I mean, that, how old is that thing? So, I mean, it's the original ninety sixty seven coil. It's been two more evil, two years since we've been Yeah, zero point five, one point five ohms, and that's reading twelve kilo ohms. I didn't realize that. Is it killing? <laughs> um. Okay, so um, how long is this video clip? Five minutes. And okay, okay, well, um, since 
this isn't gonna really work. I don't know if I want to go to Knee House and get a new coil. Oh, yeah. But we might. I think maybe we can talk about the next clip. Can you unplug that? See, I can upload this directly to the to the YouTube channel as its own little clip. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured we'd do that anyway. Well, at the very least, I'm I'm certain that this project will work. And then kind of like that, this old house kind of segue. Just when things go wrong, you just go to the next thing that you've already had in the oven. So we finally went back and got the David Bradley, and I'm thinking what we should do now is maybe, maybe we just let that sit, and maybe we come back to it in a few days. The the drill area. Right there. And uh, and. So this one, we already have it pretty much done. I think we can start with this because I had already restored this. I put JB Weld on all the holes. You can look at the thing. I put JB Weld on all the holes. I started this in 2020 and I put JB Weld on all the holes and then I sanded it down on the belt sander to where they mesh perfectly fine. And this will probably go to gasket material, right? Mm -hmm. So then I can make a gasket that fits on there and I already have this thing running, but it's been, what, three years now that I've gotten this together, and I wonder if those seals are still good. Surely they're still good. Yeah, they'd be fine. I did run out all the, all the gas on them, though. I hope the Magneto's still working, because that's a new old stock Magneto, because these ones are ones that they stopped making in the 60s, and the other ones are just slightly different. And so I hope that thing still works, but that'll be that video. It's a real shame that that didn't work. I was uh, keeping this out because I've, I've been working on polishing it, but the polishing didn't quite last too well. So what I might do is I might just paint it. I might just end up painting it. Because polishing it just didn't quite seem to work, but even if I was kind of dead set on it, but oh well. Even after two years, it's really roughed up again. I think maybe even so I could get away with silver paint. That was kind of cool. But... Um, that's just a little behind the scenes clip that I decided to do right after a uh, little bit of a failure with the side project. Oh, and this was, this is my oldest power drill. And I've decided that, well, unfortunately cats were going crazy in my workshop and they knocked this out of the ground. And you know, the ground has all the humidity on it. And so this got all messed up where even the thing doesn't even open right. And it's all corroded and whatnot. So I think while we're here, we can do a quick restoration of this. And I think I'll just leave this here for you to have for a little while. Kind of cool. Hang it up. Mm -hmm. keep it this is uh, from 1921. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. But I just had to save that because I bought it. And when I bought it, it was brand new. Oh, and this was that pro This is the last project that my previous camera did. I got this from the scrapyard and I was going to clean it up for us. Because I was, I was going back and we were going to be getting the apartment. And I was going to clean this up, but then my camera fell and it broke for the last time. It had been, it had been breaking. This was before I bought this iPhone. It had been breaking slowly where, like, when you hit record, the screen would go purple. And you couldn't actually look at it. But um, you couldn't see what it was doing. But it finally fell over and died the last time. Do you need to blow your nose? Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll finish it up. So I think maybe also in this week I can clean this up. And, uh, and so that'll be its own, like video that maybe we'll edit or whatever that's just a quick little update something that i can post right now without having to edit and then i can use these clips and other stuff